bringing you the latest break. Oh, damn it. Bringing you the latest breaking fantasy news. Daniel here to talk about some emergency Wheel of Time updates. I did plan on releasing a Dear Author video today about atmosphere, but unfortunately that will be pushed back to later this week as we need to go ahead and dive right in to what Brandon Sanderson posted about the Wheel of Time TV show on Reddit. So this is a little complicated, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Brandon Sanderson did an interview where he was asked, will the Wheel of Time show be from the point of view of the Aes Sedai or the Talviran? Brandon respond, I can't spoil you on that, as I am under an NDA. They went with some unexpected decisions, which I really like, though. Then a follow-up question of, are you involved with the Wheel of Time TV show? Brandon responds, yes. I get to read the scripts and give feedback. I get to push the characters in the direction I want them to go. The first screenplay was really good. And this was posted to Reddit, where someone commented, they went with some unexpected decisions. I expect a lot of people on here are not going to like that. To which someone responded, it kind of worried me that people would get upset knowing the existence of unexpected decisions. Literally the thing I'm most excited for is the unexpected decisions that translate the massive, complex story into television. All I want is a good show that uses the strengths of Jordan's series to its advantage. Not a page-for-page, chapter-by-chapter carbon copy, but a well-written, atmospheric, beautiful, organic show that's based on the Wheel of Time. To which Brandon Sanderson responded on Reddit under his account, user Mistborn, I found the vast majority of these decisions, actually Brandon Sanderson put mast majority, and now we all get to see Brandon Sanderson make a typo. I feel like that's a notable thing for some reason. I found the vast majority of these decisions to be excellent choices, things that will give the show its own soul, but still in line with the feel and tone of the books. I can't say for certain, but my instincts say the fan base in general will respond to them positively. There are a few I offered suggestions on, and we'll see. I can't say much, not just because of the NDAs, but also because the show is very much still in flux as Rafe makes decisions on how he wants things to go. As the alterations go, I'd say they fall in line with positive changes made in bringing the Lord of the Rings to the big screen. Things that were altered in order to make the films work for the medium. Overall, the thing I'm most impressed with is Rafe himself, who really seems to be guiding this show with a balance between love for the source material and his own creative vision. I'd much rather get this personally than something like the first two Harry Potter films, which felt like someone trying to bring the books to the screen by an exact scene-by-scene -scene recreation. I'm certain there will be polarizing decisions made by the team, but the changes are coming from a good place, and I really like most of them. And let me tell you, the first of the two scripts I read was sharp. Excellent dialogue, nuanced characters, great pacing. The second of the two, meaning the, of the two scripts he read, was in rougher shape. So well, still good, obviously still undergoing revisions. This all took place about three days ago, but was just brought to my attention. It's interesting to see Brandon Sanderson's input on the upcoming Wheel of Time show. Personally, I agree mostly with everything he's saying, though it depends on just how drastic those narrative changes he's talking about are. But what he mentions in changing the source material to match the medium is absolutely true. An exact scene-by-scene, page-for-page recreation, especially for something as large as the Wheel of Time, would probably not work out as well compared to if the showrunners make some changes to help the translation along the way. Really, it all comes down to Rafe. Do you trust him to understand the source material and make well-informed decisions? Based off what I've seen with things from his Q&A and his interactions with fans since then, and the choices I've seen from the show, all fairly positive in my mind. I think we're headed in a good direction. Uh, the initial question that sparked all of this, though, was a rather interesting one. Will the TV show be from the perspective of the Talviran or the Aes Sedai? I've seen this rumor batted around quite a bit, and while I think there's a possibility that the first bit of season one will be hyper-focusing on Moraine, I think it is more likely to be from the Talviran's perspective overall, but the beginning of season one really focusing on the mystery of who is Moraine and why is she coming to this village, etc, etc. Basically using the mystery of Moraine and the wider world she unveils to the boys as the catalyst to get the viewer interested and grow the wider world, which the books do largely do, I just think they may amp up 
the focus in that way. The other kind of bits of news we grab from this is Brandon Sanderson is in fact under an NDA, which means he has officially been tied to the show, something I think is only a positive. His voice is being heard and he's in communication with Rafe, which, wonderful. Again, that's only good. Two people who love and understand the series working together to help filter each other's thoughts, Perfect. I'm going to push back against the idea continually that we need to adapt the Wheel of Time as accurately and faithfully the source material as possible. That's not how translating across mediums works. Things that are on the page cannot be exactly translated to the television because there's things in a page that could take a month and there's things in the page that could take two seconds. That's just how writing works. You need to change and fluctuate things and how you are going to bring them to the silver screen. And additionally, changes need to be made to match pace, tone, consistency, uh, limitations with budget. Changes have to be made. And that last one there is hyper important, budget. Things need to be cut to match budget, but what we've seen with Game of Thrones is that can actually result in some of the best seasons yet, because it makes the focus more on the characters and actors. The last season of Game of Thrones had the highest budget, obviously. Compare that to the first season. Which would you prefer the Wheel of Time match more? I'll put up some Jeopardy music for you to think. There you go. I think what I actually agree with most here is actually the comment from the original poster who responded to the first comment laid down. When someone said they went with unexpected decisions, I expect a lot of people on here are not going to like that at all. He responded, it kind of worried me that people would get upset knowing the existence of positive, in Brandon Sanderson's opinion, unexpected decisions. Literally, the thing I am most excited for is the unexpected decisions that translates the massive, complex story onto television. All I want is a good show that uses the strengths of Jordan's series to its advantage, not a page-for-page, chapter-by-chapter carbon copy, but a well-written, atmospheric, beautiful, organic show based on the Wheel of Time. That captures my sentiment perfectly. User Celebrimo Board 2 Sorry, name's me. Awesome, well put, I agree completely. Anyway guys, that has been your breaking fantasy news for the Wheel of Time TV show. I will be releasing the Dear Author video that was supposed to come out today later this week on Atmosphere. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support breaking fantasy news and help me get rid of the bags under my eyes. And I hope you guys had a good one. Peace. William McPherson and Green Nolan you didn't, you didn't think I'd remember to give you a shout out at the end of the video because you just edited your pledge. You didn't do a new one. Well, guess what? You edited it to the higher tier. You get the shout out at the end of the video. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all you guys. Have a good one. Peace.